Welcome to the Getting Started with APT Blocker video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll describe how APT Blocker works, explain how to enable and configure APT Blocker, as well as show you how to monitor and view APT Blocker statistics. An Advanced Persistent Threat, or APT, is a type of network attack that can put your networks and confidential data at risk. APT attacks are particularly dangerous because once they penetrate a network, they can remain undetected for a long time. Because APT attacks use the latest targeted malware techniques and zero-day exploits to infect networks, traditional signature-based scan techniques don't provide enough protection. To protect your network from these advanced threats, you need a proactive security solution that can analyze this complex code and identify threats before they can harm your network and data. Fortunately, you can protect your network with APT Blocker. How does APT Blocker detect advanced malware? WatchGuard works closely with our best of breed strategic partner, Lastline, to use advanced full system emulation analysis to identify APT malware before it can harm your network. Unlike other traditional scanners, APT Blocker doesn't rely on signatures to prevent malware. Instead, APT Blocker scans files that are destined for your network and generates an MD5 hash of the file. This hash file is then submitted to the LastLine cloud-based data center. When LastLine receives the hash file, it's compared to a database of previously analyzed files and the scan results are returned immediately. If the analysis shows that the file is a match to a known malware threat, your Firebox will take the action you configure when you enable APT Blocker. The file is allowed through if it doesn't match the results of a previously known threat. But don't worry! Any files that have never been analyzed before are immediately submitted to the LastLine Data Center where they will receive deep analysis for APT activity. If there is evidence of malware activity in a file that entered your network, you are notified of the threat within minutes. Before you start working with APT Blocker, make sure you have these items. If you don't have an APT Blocker feature key, contact your WatchGuard reseller. You can use APT Blocker with the WatchGuard SMTP, HTTP, and FTP proxies to scan inbound email messages and files. If you haven't already configured one of these proxy policies, you can enable it when you configure APT Blocker. Once you have everything on hand, it's time to get started with APT Blocker. When enabling and configuring APT Blocker, the first thing to do is make sure that Gateway Antivirus is enabled on your Firebox. Why? Because APT Blocker uses the same scanning process as Gateway AV, Gateway AV must be enabled for the same proxy or proxies you want APT Blocker to scan. For more information about how to enable Gateway AV, see the Getting Started with Gateway Antivirus video tutorial. I'll include a link to that tutorial at the end of this one. After Gateway AV is enabled, you can enable and configure APT Blocker. In Policy Manager, open the APT Blocker dialog box, like this. Select this checkbox to enable APT Blocker. For each APT Blocker threat level, you can select an action for your Firebox to perform. If you want to change the default action, use the drop-down list and select an action for each threat level. Because all APT threat levels are considered real threats, I'll leave the default action of drop for all threat levels. It is very important that you are notified of an APT threat and we recommend that you select the alarm and log checkboxes for each threat level. Click this button to enable email alerts to make sure you know when a threat is detected. Select this checkbox. When APT Blocker detects a threat, I want to receive an email message, so I'll leave this option selected. Now that I've configured the basic settings for APT Blocker, I need to enable APT Blocker for a proxy policy. To do this, I select the Policies tab. Any available SMTP, HTTP, and FTP policies that have Gateway AV enabled appear in this list. I'll enable APT Blocker on the HTTP and SMTP proxy policies to protect my web and email traffic, like this. Click OK to save the settings. 
The last thing to do is save the configuration file to the Firebox. That's it! Now that APT Blocker is scanning traffic for malware threats, it's good to make sure you know what APT Blocker is doing and how it protects your network. To see statistics on current APT Blocker activity in the web UI, you can select Dashboard, Subscription Services. You can also look at the Subscription Services tab in Firebox System Manager for current Firebox statistics about APT Blocker activity since the last system restart. Or you can use the reports from WatchGuard Dimension to monitor APT Blocker activity. These reports are automatically generated from the log message data from your Firebox devices. All you have to do is make sure that you've correctly set up logging and you've applied the APT Blocker settings to your policies. To view the APT Blocker data for your network, navigate to the Services section in Dimension. For more information about using Dimension to protect your network, see Fireware Help. If you do look at the activity and reports and notice that threats have been blocked by APT Blocker, you can take a look at the log messages for more granular information. You can expect to see the file name and threat level, a brief threat summary, the MD5 file number, and the threat ID number reported for each detected threat. To look up APT Blocker threat information from Firebox System Manager, select the Traffic Monitor tab, right-click an APT Traffic Log message, and select Look Up APT Information. To view information about APT Blocker threat actions from the web UI, select Dashboard, Traffic Monitor. Find and click on an APT Blocker log message to see all the details about the APT threat. To learn more about APT Blocker, visit the WatchGuard website.